Welcome to session number nine of Our World of Music. Two years ago, my friend Cheryl Ulrich and I took 12 people on a musical retreat to Costa Rica. We went with the idea of surrounding ourselves in the nature and the beauty of Costa Rica and also with an opportunity, we wanted to give ourselves and others the opportunity of connecting with nature through music and discovering for ourselves our own musicality, our music together, and also connecting with nature. So today, we're gonna share the beauty of Costa Rica with you and some of the music that we created together. We began our Rhythm of Nature retreat at this beautiful, peaceful, secluded living forest retreat center. It was next to a small river and it was surrounded by hundreds of tropical trees and beautiful plants. The birds and the monkeys became our greeters each morning and gradually over the next few days, we just really revitalized that natural connection with the earth that all people have. We started playing rhythms with the birds and the monkeys, the trees and the river, the butterflies and all the sounds of the birds around us. Since the beginning of time, drums and music have been a part of every culture of mankind. Every single culture has music as a form of self-expression, as a form of communication and uh, Drumming, drumming is something that I love. Drumming resonates through our bodies when we play the drums and, uh, and music resonates through our bodies. There's a vibration that's available to us that's eons old, thousands and thousands and thousands of years. In fact, um, they found a flute that's made from a bone of a bird that's 30,000 years old. Somebody listened to birds, found a bird, made a flute. So music is just in us and it's been in us for a very long time. And so in Costa Rica, we had an opportunity to drum and play music and connect with nature in a very, uh, very special way. You know, some of the people on the journey hadn't played music before and they weren't sure at all of what would come from this adventure. But we all found as the days went by and everyone relaxed, just taking in the sounds of the place around us and the, that peaceful, gentle pace of Costa Rica's beauty. Each person's musical expression just rose up out of them and our group musical connection just became alive with everybody. We found ourselves listening to nature and to each other in a new way. We began to explore sound as if we were the first people on earth to have heard it. We settled into discovering our own musical and rhythmic languages. Together as a community, we created a sacred place of harmony and deep connection within ourselves and with each other and with the beauty and the wonders of this earth. Yeah, indeed, thank you. Uh, so we're going to share a song with you called Soy Tico. This is a song um, that was composed by someone in Costa Rica. Who was that, Cheryl? Carlos Guzman composed this song. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so um, we just want you to hear the song and see the video and get a sense of the joyous um, nature of the people and the beauty of Costa Rica. So we're going to play that for you now. Da -da 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 -da. Nenange, Costa Rica, pura ni ni yuna toye la caco, echen en aputuco, tacana un emara horetene la caco, jueri ni aja na poreteca.
soy tico porque llevo a Costa Rica en las entrañas porque lloro cuando escucho una guitarra cuando trema la marimba y con la puesta del sol soy tico y si me asomo a la ventana me cautiva la montaña y se me alegra el corazón soy tico porque siento las canciones de mi tierra Porque vibro con la luna liberiana Caballito nicoyano, la patriótica y pasión Soy tico y cuando miro la alborada El lamento del yigüirro me acelera la emoción Y cuando caen los fuertes aguaceros como si yo fuera la semilla Me huele a tierra fértil el sendero Llenando de ilusión mi alma sencilla Soy tico porque cada vez que encuentro A un amigo forastero le demuestro mi calor Soy tico porque vivo enamorado y orgulloso de la tierra que ha inspirado mi canción de verdad soy pico y si eso no te dice nada yo te mostraré mi patria dame la oportunidad yes, soy pico pura naturaleza playa volcanes y mucha belleza pico estoy bendecido mi gente es amable mi pueblo es querido tierra fértil que te inspira aire puro es lo que se respira una muy colorida soy tico y por eso soy pura vida ¡Opa! soy tico porque amo la patria mía en noche y de día parrandeamos con alegría el ritmo de una marimba y un buen guitimía ser tico es una bendición se me infla el pecho emoción de llevar el blanco azul y rojo en mi corazón por eso soy tico soy pura vida que viva costa rica mi patria querida acabó soy tico porque cada vez que encuentro a un amigo mi calor Soy tico porque vivo enamorado Y orgulloso de la tierra Que ha inspirado mi canción Cuando caen los fuertes aguaceros Es como si yo fuera la semilla Me huele a tierra fértil el sendero Me engalana la vida y me impresiona de verdad. Soy tico y si eso no te dice nada, yo te mostraré mi patria. Dame la oportunidad. Soy tico y si eso no te dice nada, yo te mostraré mi patria. That was Soy Tico by Carlos Guzman. Here's the translation. I am Tico because I carry Costa Rica in my soul. Because I cry when I listen to a guitar and when the marimba trembles and with the sunset. I am Tico, and when I look out the window, 
the mountain captivates me and my heart rejoices. I am Tico because I feel the songs of my land and I vibrate with the Liberian moon, Cabalito Nicoyano, La Patriotisa e La Pasión. I am Costa Rican and when I look at the dawn and hear the Yagarios lament, my heart soars. And when the heavy downpours fall, it's like I'm the seed, and the path smells of fertile ground, filling my simple soul with magic. I am Tico because every time I meet a foreign friend, I show my warmth. I am Tico because I live in love. And I am proud of the land that has inspired my song. And when the heavy downpours fall, it's like I'm the seed, and the path smells of fertile ground, filling my simple soul with magic. I am Tico, because a purple guaria, it adorns my look and pleases me so. I am Tico, and what that should tell you is that I will show you my country. I welcome you to engage in the opportunity. I am Tico. The warmth of the people and the beauty of the country embraced us. As you can see in that video, there people were warm and engaging and the country just welcomed us with its open arms. We sat out on our journeys in the jungle of the Living Forest Retreat Center. The Living Forest Retreat Center is it's nestled in the jungle on the banks of this delightful little river leading right into Lake Arnold. One afternoon, after a morning of drumming together, Patricia and I stepped into the cool waters of that river, some rocks to sit on, and just sat there feeling the river rushing around us, looking up at the blue sky through the jungle and hearing the birds and the breeze surrounding us. It was it was a peaceful, glorious moment. We stayed there for quite a while, just lingering in the water. The canopy above us and the jungle glistened with life. And it created a experience of pure bliss and oneness with life that we were surrounded by. Our hearts were filled with this peacefulness and joy and gratitude. And we just felt this deep connection with the river and with the planet itself. Yes, and as I stepped out of the river, I stood in the warm tropical air, so connected to the jungle, to the trees, to the sound of the river, to my feet on the warm ground. And I just stood there for a while, just in peace, complete peace. It was beautiful. And then I wanted to, I wanted to play my guitar. And so I went, got the guitar and sat down by the river and just listened, just listened. And uh, then, my fingers found their way on the guitar. Sometimes that happens. You just start to play. And I started playing and this melody came forth out of the, out of the feeling of being there. And, uh, and it was so beautiful. And I just kept humming the melody and playing the chords. And then uh, I went up on the deck and sat with my friends 
and started playing and they started kind of humming along with me. And what I had gone and taken a walk and uh, I, I wandered back onto the deck and I couldn't believe this, this sound, the harmonizing, this beautiful music, it just captivated me. And other people were around just, just listening and oh, and, and Patricia's sister was on the hammocks. Yeah, she was there too. Making, singing along with it, with the bird sounds. And it was just this, just this glorious atmosphere. It was, it was so touching. Um, so, you know, we'd like to now share that song. Uh, we call it the Song of the River. Song of the River. Song of the River. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> One day on the retreat, we took a, a simply magical adventure uh, down to the nearby Coravisi River. We embarked on a safari float on down the river as a group. We were greeted by two of the most charming Tico river guides <laughs> whose you know, faces just lit up in smiles all day long. Uh, we climbed into two rafts and we set out down the river. It was a beautiful day. There were blue skies and the, the guides were so fun. They just loved pointing out the birds and the animals on the, and the, uh, all, all along the way, you know, they, they pointed out the water birds, the osprey, and the birds that looked like they walked on water, the huge iguanas. We saw two crocodiles. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah, and well, of course, the monkeys hanging from the trees. Those yeah. just made everybody happy, and everybody was looking to spot the monkeys. And uh, our guide, uh, Pablo, he had this big smile. It was a smile as big as the country itself, it felt like. And he just so clearly loved his job. And uh, every time he spotted an animal or a bird for us to look at, he would point in that direction and sing out a song. He'd point to the tops of the trees frequently and sing out, Howl or monkey! <laughs> and he veered the boat down uh, as he, you know, went over so that he can help us spot the monkeys. Well, his laughter and his song just filled our hearts with joy. And by the journey's end, we were all singing out, Howler Monkey! Howler Monkey! <laughs> monkey. <laughs> and then we, when we got to the shore, we, got, we came in, and on the banks of the shore at the end of the trip, Cheryl began a song, Howler Monkey, that brought even bigger smiles to everyone's face. Howler monkey, climbing up the tree. <laughs> it was great. And so we all started singing the song. And later, back at the retreat center, Doug Rogers, uh, who was one of the people on our trip, and his wife, he wrote up a couple of verses for the song to complete the song. And so we are going to share um, Doug and his wife, Kathy, who are wonderful, love to sing together. And um, they're going to sing the song for you. And Cheryl put together this video so you can see what the trip down the river was like. Every 
everything's okay Pura vida What a glorious day Pura vida It's a Costa Rican way It's the Costa Rican way So, on our trips to Costa Rica, we visited the uh, forest retreat near Arenal, and then we were up in Monte Verde, up in the um, up in the mountains, and then we always we ended our trip um, at the beach, and Costa Rica's beaches are very um, beautiful, peaceful. Um, wonderful opportunities to just allow yourself to quietly experience yourself in nature. And the sound of the ocean added its beauty to the rhythm of our retreat. And uh, we were at this beach called Playa Grande. And uh, in the morning, we would get up really early and walk out across the sand and then just jump into the ocean and swim in the waves and beyond the waves and just feel the warm water and feel the uh, the sun and it was quite quite beautiful it was glorious actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and you know at this point in the retreat the music was just like arising around us spontaneously we just mm -hmm. went through our day drumming together and playing together and you'd see two people over here playing and the group as a whole and it was just glorious, really. Um, it was like not having a care in the world. We just were free, free yeah. to be on the beach, float in the ocean when we wanted, explore the rocks, listen and you know, find all the little shells and play music with each other. The rhythm was part of our, our lives, the rhythm of the nature yeah. around us, the rhythm of the ocean. Yeah. And uh, now our hearts were open. Everybody's hearts were open. And the people who had never thought they were musicians at all were finding themselves picking up instruments and creating songs. <laughs> and uh, and one, I mean, one day we we uh, we sat down. We all ended up together in the in the living room, and we started improvising. And uh, collectively, this whole song came out with everybody contributing a verse and everybody's ideas being included in this in this improvisational or. Uh, collective song that we yeah, wrote. It was amazing. It, yeah. it, it was about the whole experience of Costa Rica and being on, on the shores of Playa Grande and surrendering to the rhythms of, of nature. Mm -hmm. So um, we'd mm -hmm. like to share that. We, we I turned on my recorder at one point uh, while we were creating that creating that composition and <laughs> carved out a little piece of that to share with you. So. That's what we're going to be playing with you now. We call it the rhythm of Pura Vida. And if we haven't said it yet, Patricia, if we said what Pura We haven't Vida, said, no. No, we need to tell them. Pura, Pura Vida is what Costa Ricans say all the time to each other. And it, it means everything, everything from, isn't it a glorious day to, wow, that was pretty cool, or that was scary, or, you know, life life is this way it's a beautiful beautiful life yeah it expresses the the joy and the easy grace that that uh, costa ricans have about life and mm. connection with with the planet and the, and the nature yeah so this is the rhythm of pura vida great
Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it would go. We are rising with the sun, sisters together. That the whole thing, or just the no, rising with the sun? And and, uh, we are rising with so the sun. So we need to shift everything by half of. Uh, no, 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 okay. Let me. Let, so hold on. So we are rising. We are rising with the sun as the egrets dance before us. That is well, what no, you're we doing. We the sisters together in harmony to start, and then if we're home at the end, that's what you meant. No, I meant what Cheryl said. Oh, okay. So, so oh, I got. So I, I got. So the first verse would be, "We are rising with the sun as the egrets dance before us. We are immersed in Bora Vida. I can hear the sun." And then the very last verse would be, swimming with all the pelicans, sisters together in harmony. We are home in Pura Vida as the sun sets into the sea. Yes. 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 We, we ride with the sun and we set with the sun. That's Flow of the rhythm of Puerto Vida. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank you so much for joining us for our uh, trip through Costa Rica. We love sharing it with you. And I want to thank Cheryl for create, helping to create this video and, and put, the, put everything together for, for you to be able to see our trip. And also for being, uh, being my colleague and partner in creating that, that opportunity in Costa Rica for people to experience connecting with nature, connecting with themselves, connecting with each other and really discovering our musical our musical selves together. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. And thank you everyone for sharing our retreat experiences today. Yeah, thanks.